red carpet of Hollywood. Yes, I'm here with Gary Raymond. He's here. It's perfect. So, <laughs> tell me about uh, today's event. I mean, yeah. oh, what I did, or yeah. well, I, I worked on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, oh my God! Did you hear that? <laughs> we have the genius here. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's amazing. Well, I did the music playback. That's huge. <laughs> That's like huge. So uh, there's a scene. You've seen the movie, I assume. Anyway, there's a scene with Leo where he's doing the hollow blue. Yes. And um, so I did that. Um, first time I worked with Quentin. Was very impressed. Yeah. He's, you know, he's considered a great filmmaker. But once I worked with him, I really understood. We started. Normally, if we'd been doing television, it would have been, you know, one piece of music, and shown up on the day. We started a month and a half before. They sent me a video from the t from back in the day that was a model for the scene. When we start, by the time I got to the set, we had 51 versions of the song. 51. Oh wow! So that on the day, Quentin could pick, you know, if he wanted the tight version, the sloppy version, the bluesy, you know what, and you know, so he has this full wow. palette. So that's how he meshed he is into the details, and it was important. And then the other thing to surprise me is you know the, the the makeup and the you know the the dialogue and the sets are all from that period but we also had to do it technically the way they did it in 69 that that normally when you're behind the camera that doesn't happen and he wanted it that way because that's that would make a difference in the performance yeah. of the actors totally. and that really blew me away so i have tremendous respect for him because he is into every detail and not you know, not in a frivolous way, but it, because everything makes a difference organically yes. for the actors. Mm -hmm. So I was very impressed, very honored very to work on it. Perfectionist. Yes. That's, oh, but great, in a good great. way, you know, not, not course, unreasonable. Yeah. You know, I mean, perfectionist yeah. because there's a reason for it. You yeah. know, it's like, it's like method acting. There's a, right. there's, there was methodology. Yes, that's incredible. Yeah. Well, how was it to work with everybody else? Well, Mark Ulano, who's a sound mixer, is, I just love him. He's, he's, um, He's fantastic, and um, uh, Petrushka, who's his utility, and Tom I'd worked with a little bit before, uh, they're just the best. Um, mm -hmm. And um, it was also really nice because even, it was the first time I'd worked on a Quentin Tarantino film, but most of the crew you know, were people that he's had on multiple films, so it's like a family. And they all work together, they cooperate. Yes. Um, you know, it's a very, it's a very communal, Feeling. It's teamwork. Yes, yeah. teamwork. It has to have a flow. Yes, it has to have a flow, and the flow is not just about efficiency, it's about what's what organically are we creating here? You know, and does it fit the theme of the film? And even though it's I'm doing a technical thing, you know, again, does it support what would have happened? Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, he's just he's just a great filmmaker, he's amazing. Thank you so much. This is a great story, and I'm sure everybody will appreciate it. So tonight, uh, what are your expectations? Well, I have no expectations, you know, just enthusiasm and <laughs> <laughs> follow your passion. That's my motto in life. But we are, we are up for best sound, so for sound mixing. Nominated? Yeah, nominated for best sound mixing. I'm part of the crew. I, I mean, can't Mark's wait. head, but, you know, and then we have our post people. Uh, but it's an honor to be here with everyone. It's been a while. It's been 14 years since I was at a CAS, so yeah. I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. This was a great story, and uh, good luck tonight.